checking out this video. As you'll see, I've got the new wheels uh, on the Kubota installed. Uh, they're pretty sweet. Uh, I'll stand on the side and you so you can kind of see what they look like. Uh, so you'll notice that right now they're in the up position. Uh, what I have done is I've installed a kind of a chain link with an extra coupler here on the top that allows for uh, the, the wheels, here, let me just kind of show this view, to stay elevated uh, while they're, uh, I'm sorry, while we're in the water. Uh, but at the same time, prevents them from being completely vertical, uh, as you can see here, uh, which actually they go up a little bit higher, they would be in, in the boat. So rather than being in the boat when they're out of the water, I want them to kind of be uh, behind, but also above where the water level is. This works out great. So uh, let me show you what it looks like when they're down. So I'm going to lower them just by taking out the latch. All right, so now you can actually see, uh, and I'll kneel down here so you can kind of see from eye level uh, what the boat would look like uh, as it's being, uh, uh, I guess, kind of wheeled out to the lake and out to the water. So pretty cool, uh, awesome little feature you can add to the uh, Kubota. Uh, again, this is just drilled right through the uh, transom mount. Uh, what you'll also see back here is I've got my Yak Gear uh, crate with the rod holders installed on the side. Uh, in case you're wanting to make one of these, uh, the Yak Gear crate was roughly six or seven dollars at Academy. The uh, other rod holders, uh, you can kind of see here, those were, uh, I think, roughly 15 or 20 dollars on Amazon. And then what I did have to do, as you can see on the inside, is I did have to install some, uh, uh, I guess, washers and nuts because the holes were too big for uh, just the bolt and the nut alone. So, uh, pretty cool Yak Gear container that I've got that'll fit uh, real nice there in the back of the boat. Got the wheels installed. I'll provide the link below to the wheels in case you want to check those out, see uh, more information about them. Uh, for now though, thanks for checking out this video. I have a couple before and after pictures that'll follow uh, right after I uh, turn the camera off. So check those out. If you have any questions, any comments, comment below and I'll uh, answer those questions for you. All right, until next time, I'll have more modifications to come. The next video will likely be us taking uh, this out on the water. And between now and then, we've also got to come up with a name. So that's what I'm gonna task the kids to do this weekend is have a name for the Kubota. So that should be interesting to see what they come up with. All right, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, if you uh, like it, uh, that would be great. Um, please hit like uh, and also subscribe so you see the future modifications coming up. All right.